And then he's in the head, here we are. And, and it's not fair to you, I'm doing a video. On our, on our way to the boat. And Nadine thought it was a photograph. There. Frankfurt Airport. This could be us. Yeah, it is. It's got two yellow. There it is. A boat. So we've just got on board here in Frankfurt. It looks very similar to parts of London, this bit. Uh, probably Canary Wharf, in that there's lots of these pointy buildings about the place in the financial district. There's another one with some more building going on. And there in the distance, an old cathedral. So far the boat looks quite similar to the Avalon one we went on earlier in the year. Plenty of areas for sunbathing, but I don't think we'd be doing much of that in October. Before breakfast, while Nadine's having a shower, I just thought I'd come and have a look. This reminds me a bit like the Wakao Valley. Look at that. Very nice. At every turn, there's another castle. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Good job I came up here for a minute or two, otherwise I would have missed that. I'm sure there's going to be another one just around the next bend. Beautiful. So here we are having breakfast. And we're just coming round a bend in the river. Very it's actually even prettier on the other side, but we'll catch that a bit later. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't recording all that time. So, no, it's not cold. It's, it's pretty though. Very pretty. See? There. Yeah, probably probably too many views. Gotta to stop doing the views. I get told off. Even you get bored with your own videos. That's how bad they are. Very pretty valley. Lots of vineyards. Also a bit like the Wakao Valley. Lots of castles. Oh look, there's a train under a castle thing. Are you staying out because I'm going to go and get my hoodies? Uh, let's go and get hoodies then. It's a bit nippy, isn't it? It looks like the blue sky, but don't be fooled. It's a bit nippy. Look at all these. Can are they Canadian geese, are they? Yeah, no. Definitely geese, aren't they? I'll shout out, what are you? I can't see where they are. There's a lot of them. We heard that coming down the valley and thought, what the hell is that? <laughs> There's another bunch of them. Amazing. Thousands of them migrating off somewhere over a very pretty valley. Look at this. Gotcha. <laughs> There they are, migrating off. They're all honking too. 
We're approaching another very pretty little town. Don't know what it's called. It might tell us in a second. Apparently it's Boppard. There we go. Yeah, I know. I'm talking to the video. <laughs> yes, I'm an idiot. Very pretty. We've just come in. It's a bit chilly up there. And it's very pleasant in here. Over a cup of tea. Happy to assist you in the restaurant and in the garden. During the years we learned many things. We developed a lot of skills, but we couldn't do one thing. To read your mind. So please, let us know right away what do you need from us because Monument of freedom and unity. The sky's looking a bit ominous now. Oh, look, there's Nad. Uh, a wet patch. Romanic style, you see this in the windows, the typical windows in this time are down here, the mm -hmm. half round windows. So it is about of course it had burned sometimes. And then later, after Napoleon, uh, no, 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 look at the 14th, had destroyed the, uh, the city. Uh, this uh, towers that have not been made in the back of time, 1700. The eye roller of yes. Koblenz. I don't know if you can see on this video, but his eyes move. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, that was lucky. That was lucky. <laughs> We're getting ready for our 30th celebratory evening meal. And we've got a friend. Look. Friend. There you go. A couple of glasses of champagne just before we get started.
Day three. You're still drunk. Tuesday. I'm not drunk. I'm sober. I'm sober as a newt. Yeah. Oh, there's a road there. I ain't drunk. Nadine's just about to go and have a stretch class, and then I'm going to go and use the bathroom. So she's in her active wear. What are you in? Active wear. <laughs> in my leggings. Leggings. It's been very, very nice. Long, though. Yeah, I'll go up on top in a bit. Oh, there's one of them birds. <laughs> it's got a little bit cloudy now, unfortunately, but we've been through a few locks. Nadine's done her stretching yoga. Oh, it looks very, it looks very dark through this lens, but it's not as dark as, as that really. It's beautiful, all these vineyards. Certainly all the wine we've tasted so far has been gorgeous. Probably had too much, to be honest. I think you had a bit too much last night, though. How can you say that? I don't remember having too much. I don't remember it anything much. So what's the name of this place? Burn Castle. It's very pretty. <laughs> I'm just coming out of the town. Here's all the vineyards. Look at that. Got my thumb in the way. Beautiful cafe. There's a flag also to welcome you. Do you see this flag? 
um, please tell me because when I say something, the flag is the same flag of from King George. Our noble town hall. German word for town hall is Rathaus and it's a nice example of the late German Renaissance. In the ground floor of these houses, there was a very good restaurant that it was the first restaurant here in town that had to close because of the effects of the pandemic. And before it was restricted for many years, it was closed. So, if you can hear heavy breathing, <laughs> that was quite steep. Beautiful view of the river Moselle. And look, there's our boat. And we've just had a wonderful tour of this very pretty place called Burn Castle. That's it for today. Here we are in Trier. <laughs> they normally leave when we're on tour. There he is, Karl Marx himself. This is the only Roman gate left in the world. It's enormous. 7,500 stones. It was born in the year 180. You think that's impressive? Wait till you see this. There's my wife taking a photograph of this very old Roman bridge. And down here we've got a little cormorant or something, doing an impression of a bat for some reason. Don't know why. We had a lovely tour this morning and now the sun has come out, beautiful blue sky and we're going to be having lunch in a minute or three. Okay, we're now leaving Trier. It's 3.45 Wednesday afternoon and we've been having a lovely kip. And here we are having a game of shuffleboard. Oh, you got to knock it in. Very good, oh. 10 points. Well done, Marvin. It's just been an afternoon of cruising.
there's you. Oh, a bit of zoom out. Walking up towards a, a Roman wine press. I can see it there, look. Ooh, we're in our in. Privileged. I won't try and take pictures through the bars then. <laughs> oh, there's the river. That's a press made by the Romans. What have the Romans ever done for us, eh? and views tour. This was supposed to be the views. Yeah. Really weird. So that's the whole, uh, this is the viewing point. <laughs> this is hilarious. That is interesting. Yeah, we, we did have some views. Now we just have I can't even see because the sun is actually coming out, but I can't see what's on my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all those vaping people, isn't it? Okay, so 30 seconds later, it's cleared again. Let's see, there's some windmills over there. Weird. Very weird. So. This is the Vines and Views tour, and that cloud down there is where the Moselle River so securing is. Our view. Just a tad. Never mind, it's worth a try. It looks like the mist is clearing at last, so we'll go and have ourselves some lunch and then uh, relax on the deck this afternoon, I think. A church and everything. So there we are having our lunch. And a nice just, just a bit of a church. Yeah, a bit of a church. Well, I can't get it all in. Oh, I can, no, just about. A little churchy. Yeah. So, look at that lovely starter. It's not there yet. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was a nice lunch. And just before we go on deck, yet another church we've got so many of these pointy churches with their onion towers although you can't really see it there let's get up there just past my friend where is he there he is friend <coughs> yeah, we're in focus for a second there he is okay now the sun's come out all the mist has gone beautiful views i'm talking about my wife here Beautiful it's, views. The river's so wibbly that the sun's there one minute, there the next. Look, castly thing in the distance. Can you get me a tea? Yep. Darling. Lovely. Beautiful afternoon. Oh, look, there's another church. Haven't seen many of those, have we? So, this is the village we visited two days ago? Yeah. Yeah, two days ago. What's it called? Burn Castle. Burn Castle. Beautiful on a day like this, and there's the castle up the hill. Oh god, I'm trying to lean backwards on the chair. Oh, there we go, there's there it is. 
very sunny. Uh, there we go. Whew, that was, I must admit, with that beautiful blue sky, this looks magic. I'm following a lorry. That's okay. Let's try that again. With a beautiful blue sky, this whole village looks gorgeous. And there's my wife. A little later that afternoon, a pixie was spotted. <laughs> Just coming into dock for the evening. The sun has just gone down, which is a shame because it's beautiful. Another castle thing. Very pretty. But don't be afraid, I don't want to teach you things about wine. I just want to destroy your illusions. <laughs> what we are tasting now, at the end it's no wine tasting, because you only get one glass of wine.
I thought we'd be the same level as the castle. I didn't think we'd be that much higher than this, but oh, we are. There's our boat. It's so difficult to see into the sun. There is a castle there, honest. Uh, I've got the castle in mind, I'm just assuming it is. There's the Mosul. There's our ship right in the middle there. The mist is almost clearing, but it is a beautiful morning. Very quiet. I think so it's just good. going to focus on the cables. <laughs> Try and touch it with my thumb to focus on the castle? Maybe not. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We had fun on a cable car anyway. That was it. And just in case we haven't got enough video of churches, I thought, nice church, but really big church with three towers. Look. Don't get many of those. And more vineyards. Well, actually, uh, go down with dead from that before I'm done milk. <laughs>
child, she shouted, come on, here. And they said, please, give me the sweets, please get some sweets. She said, okay, you get my only one, it's very expensive. So she has one, yeah, here you see, the sweet. Video. Apparently, Albert Humpting lived there. Yes! So, the final stop on our tour is Oberwesel. What a lovely evening. A little bit cloudy, but actually temperature-wise, very nice. As ever, a castly thing and surrounded by marvellous hillsides and wineries, vineyards. And this one looks like it's got some interesting churches and uh, old town walls. I'm sure we'll be able to explore those in a bit. Oh, and a train. That's quite a long one for a passenger train. Okay, we'll be disembarking soon. They've only just put up the walkway. Um, and this horseshoe is a reference to a Celtic horse goddess. Yes. <laughs> now this was burnt down. A rich supermarket baron took over this tower here. Basil. It is a football stadium. The ruins of this castle were purchased by a rich New Yorker named P.J. Oakley Rhinelander. So you know where his family must have come from. And in the 1880s, he bought this castle and invested the modern equivalent of about $20 million. Yeah, stop the stink. down in the town yeah. I mean it was seeping through the groundwater and needless to say we didn't have sanitation or <laughs> trash services to just dump things out. Reformation the Protestants are white. See this is another this is Carol Hahn 1865. See this is the power yet all very decorated. See, this is the old town wall. This is the extent of the old town wall. They later built on and extended it all the way in that direction, all the way from the third. <coughs> but you can see it initially and wrapped around it, keep it from spreading out. Yeah. Your death. Treadmill. Yeah. You yeah. settle on the treadmill from six until six. Bithy, and they're going to like, decorate, they're going to cover everything up that isn't authentically medieval. And that's a good weekend law of harvesting for this region. And they're very decorative. They got these like these little kissy lips stuck on them. Those aren't just decorative, you see, this helps the plastic stick better, gives it more surface area. Who met their demise on the Rhine?
Les Apples.